All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you for the jumping back in. Sorry for that uh, small hiccup, but uh, we're going to get into a variety of topics. But this first one we are going to jump, jump into and get into is about Tesla inventory. We is starting to get back to levels that we haven't seen for at least a few days now. And Tesla Model Ys are certainly starting to sell out as we like to call it. So we'll take a look at it. We'll see what's, what's going on on and of course we'll talk about what you might possibly be able to do we are coming up on the end of the month which there might be some strategies for that but we'll definitely take a look at it as well as other topics as well but uh th thanks for jumping in we're gonna jump into it before we do that let's roll that intro real quick All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And thank this, vi this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. And thank you to all my newest Patreon members, Jim, Mario, Molik, R, Raj, Troy, George, Frank, James, George, Nicola, Simha, Jeremy, Saxena, sorry if I messed it up, Ru Rudra, Q, Midnight Sun, Dodo, Nico, and Kim. Thank you all for joining the Patreon. Thank you all for supporting. If you want to join, link down below in the description. Of course, the benefit of the live streams is that uh, you can jump on the live chat and ask anything that you want to talk about. So let us, let's jump right into it. But we'll, we'll jump to the live stream in the chat a little bit later. But Let's let us take a look at this. Thank you all for joining in. Uh, Tesla Model Y. I mean, there's been no price changes at all, and at this point, I really feel like there is not going to be a price change by the end of this month. I mean, we are certainly getting into the last week of the month, maybe seven days at the or what five days to the end of the month. So it is certainly going to be in a very exciting time next week. We've got we've got a lot of things on the horizon, right? We've got March uh, March first, Tesla Investor Day. We've got the end of the month where Tesla usually have some sort of sales push, but maybe, maybe not this, maybe not this month, but maybe next month. We've got CVRP for all the California owners out there. Like, what is that? Is that changing sometime in March? Uh, you know, as we've been speculating for all March on February 28th, something might actually happen. And the last thing is we've got this federal tax credit, this $7,500 federal tax credit. Like, what is happening with this? Is this a March 1st sort? of change or something, you know, sometime later, like March, you know, 31st or something like that. And we'll talk about that a little bit later as well. But this is all about Model Y. And uh, of course, like, let me know in the chat, like, what is your estimated delivery date? What have you been pushed? Or have you been pushed earlier? I'm getting texts and messages that people have been getting their VINs a lot quicker now, or at least they got their VIN. Uh, but they're still like a ways a couple weeks out from delivery. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. But taking a look at our favorite chart right here, a shout out to mattjung.net for building this great site just hit the refresh button right there and tesla model y inventory is starting to go back down to levels that we haven't seen for a little bit and look at this graph right here look at this angle of this i guess i don't know what the technical term of this is but it stayed pretty high for a few days before sloping and down and so i don't know if this is giga texas giga austin starting to ramp up or is this tesla demand for the model y you know not as hot anymore i'm, I'm not sure what tesla Tesla wants to be in terms of uh, like how many vehicles do they want to sell versus inventory going down to zero. But taking a look at waiting for Tesla.com, there's what? 36 brand new Teslas available for sale across the country. And if we filter down to the trim levels, there's only 32 Model Y all-wheel drives. And there's four long-range all-wheel drives. And of course, the four here, okay, two of them are red, which I know, you know, certainly red isn't in demand as other ones, but two of them are black. I mean, I, I love black with white interior. If I were to do it again, definitely a black with white interior. But the one thing here is all of these are seven C interiors. And so, you know, I just did a test, right? You know, I, I like pinging Tesla to see kind of what's the temperature with the sales departments. And so I texted the Tesla hotline. It's, you know, it's a centralized one, as you all know, or most of you should know. And so someone called me shortly after and I just asked, I just had the question like, what, what's going on? Like uh, any demo discounts out there? Are there any specials going on or end of the month promotions? Unfortunately, there isn't, but both of them reference like the federal tax credit, right? This $7,500 federal tax credit that's in effect. And one of 
of them referenced the $2,000 state uh, CVRP for California. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Of course, it is $2,000 for most people. If you are low income, it goes up to $4,500. But on February 28th, that goes up to $7,500 dollars as well and so you know they, they didn't really say anything about any sort of discounts there was actually no demo vehicles with any sort of discounts as well so it was definitely pretty interesting as well and i also went on tesla chat if you don't know what that feature is it's a pretty unknown feature and pretty un underutilized as well but if you are in the market if you haven't you know placed an order yet i would be you know i would certainly get on tesla chat if you can try and talk to someone and see if you can actually get a vehicle in in inventory and not and not actually uh, and not not do not actually do an order. I was trying to get an inventory vehicle because we are going to we're heading into the last week of the month or the last few days of the month, really only five days. And so if you really absolutely want this seventy five hundred dollar tax credit, you want to really lock it in, then I would definitely not try and uh, order a vehicle. I would just try and find a vehicle in inventory. And certainly there's not a lot of them actually eligible for uh, or a lot of them out there. In stock, and so even if we switch to all these long wheel drive, all wheel like all wheel drive standard ranges, a lot of these are like in transit. You can see right here, February twenty sixth is not built yet. Uh, this is like February twenty seventh, also not built yet. So uh, you know, it's slim pickings, that's for sure. But uh, let me know, do you does anybody and does anybody have an order uh, or delivery date in the next few days at the end of the month? Uh, is Tesla really trying to pressure you to take delivery? It, it, has there been some sort of you know like uh, do this or else type of messaging because that would give us some sort of indication if like Tesla is really trying to push deliveries for the end of this month then something big might actually happen on March 1st in terms of like price increases or something like that because they don't want people to carry over their orders if they if they don't need to so definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know your thoughts are your estimated delivery dates getting pushed or are you getting pushed forward uh some pretty interesting stuff up but today's video, we're going to get into our next topic. But today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description, there's a Patreon link where you can support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me, where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which has interest rates all lower than Tesla financing at 5.4%, some of them 3%, 4%. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description if you are interested. All right, but uh, thanks for joining in, everybody. Inventory levels have certainly decreased, uh, but t this is kind of what Tesla's been doing for some reason for the past, I don't know, past, what is this, like since February, they let inventory get really low, and then they'll drop a bunch of Model Y standard ranges all at once. Then we'll see inventory levels go back to like 200 to 300 levels, like you can see right here, 227, and then they'll start to slowly sell very, very slowly. And then same thing they did again, inventory levels went up to 243, and then they started to sell them very, very slowly. And if I were to do it again, I think I would just, I mean, you can't even order a Model Y standard range all-wheel drive, and I've definitely tried. I've tried calling them, I've tried tech, you know, getting on chat with them to see, hey, can I uh, order a Model Y standard range? And they, they said no, unfortunately, that it's not a exactly the you can't do that at all but 